This is Salvia chiapensis, Chiapas sage. It's from uh, upper elevations, uh, cloud forest of Mexico. And um, that kind of follows that uh, this really prefers milder situations. You're looking at it with this lovely hummingbird enjoying it um, in Santa Barbara, California. So it's literally across the street from the ocean. Very mild temperatures, 60s to 70s Fahrenheit most of the year. And I've seen this and grown this uh, in other areas. I live in a hot inland valley in Northern California where it's dry during the summer and very little humidity and uh, gets in around 90 degrees on a regular basis during the summer. And uh, in the winter, it is uh, in the mid 20s Fahrenheit. <coughs> this plant doesn't perform near as well where I am as, uh, as you see here. Um, so two things it likes the uh, it doesn't like to freeze and um, although it can handle frost down to around 20 degrees Fahrenheit but if you don't have that frost um, you're just going to get better performance overall what you're looking at here by the way is just some close-ups there's those beautiful flowers that intense crimson pink and uh, hummingbirds just love this plant. Most of the time I was filming this that hummingbird right there was hanging around as was another one. So great hummingbird attractor. Um, and what you can see here too is that it just has kind of a loose structure to it. I showed some of the under story of the plant but generally this is a floppy kind of plant. It does not have much structure at all. The flower stems kind of lay over as you can see here because they're not very woody. They're fairly herbaceous. And um, let me just talk about the size. This one's about three to four feet high, but it's got a wall there that it's leaning against. Generally, these are about two to two and a half feet high in my experience. And uh, there was another area here in this planting where they didn't have support. And they were they were right about that 30 inches high, plus or minus. Um, and again, see this planting here. You see how they're kind of crisscrossing all over the top of one another. So in design, you just want to make sure that that's appropriate for what you're after. You are not going to get a structured look. This is nice in a nat more natural layered uh, feel. And um, I think that's how you're going to get the most out of the plant. Uh, water, uh, it, it can be, it's lower water once it's established, but honestly, it looks better with some regular water. Here's that woody structure underneath once the plant's matured somewhat. These are evergreen in milder areas, like I mentioned, but if you get into an area where there's frost like I have, uh, probably the best thing to do with these is cut them down during the winter. The foliage looks pretty ragged anyway. Uh, we cut them and then they come back the following spring. Uh, these are on the edge of liking that at all. I mean, in, in hot inland areas, I would use these in shade and part shade. They're going to look their best and then give them some regular water. I would space these probably three feet on center from one or five gallon containers. I prefer fives because the frost really slows down the growth of this one. So if you start with a larger plant, you're just going to get more out of it faster. Um, and I don't use big groupings, but I've seen groupings, and these can look pretty good that way. Again, if they're evergreen, then I think that's a good approach in a design. But if you're in a colder area where they get hammered in the winter, uh, that's a big space that has nothing in it during the winter. So I would use um, smaller groupings in that situation. Um, I'm not sure about deer with this one. Most of the salvias are left alone by deer, but I don't have experience with this one, so I can't speak to that. So that's what I can tell you about salvia chiapensis. Oh, by the way, so full sun and par or part shade in um, coastal areas where it's milder. Otherwise, I'd say part sun uh, or part shade to shade in hot inland areas. To follow are some nice companion plants for Salvia chiapensis chiapis sage. Enjoy.